On this UMC 500 robot pallet loader, we can run a sequence of parts over a substantial length of time. And since the machine can likely be running lights out, we need to know that the tools our programs are using are damage free. That's where our new broken tool detection option comes into play. In basic terms, the system uses a compact camera to take a picture of any tools we've flagged before they start cutting and then again after they're done cutting. The system compares the two images and if they are different, the system will alarm out. Now this system isn't meant to actually measure tools and check wear like you would with a WIPS probing routine. Instead, it gives you a quick way to check any of your at-risk tools to ensure they haven't broken during machining. The detection cycle can be turned on for any tool, and you'll typically only want it enabled for tools that have some chance of breaking. Small diameter drills, taps, and end mills are typical choices and potentially other long narrow tools as well. A big end mill, a shell mill, or a shoulder mill probably don't need to be checked since the chances of visible damage will be low. The general idea here is to stop machining once a broken tool is detected. You'll want to try and tap holes that aren't there because your drill broke halfway through its drilling cycle. Alarming out when the tool is detected as broken allows you to hopefully save the part and also not start more of the same parts if you're running lights out. So let's look at a tool that's set up to get checked. This is tool number one in our program. And on the tool table, we see that the BTD box is checked. You press F2 to toggle the BTD checkbox on and off. Now let's watch the system in action. The program starts with a drilling cycle and our drill is staged in the tool change position. When I press cycle start, the camera takes a picture of the tool before loading it in the spindle. I have an M00 in my program, so I can pause after the first hole and break the tool. I'll reduce the stick out on the tool by about 400 thou or about 25% shorter than its starting length. Now we'll finish running this drilling cycle and see what we get. As the tool is put in the carousel, it pauses to get checked again. And now we get a 9300 broken tool alarm. And the screen switches to show us the before and after images of the tool and let us know the offset for this tool has expired. The system also flags the tool as broken here on the tool table. You can clear the broken tool flag by pressing F3. But it's best, of course, not to do this until you've actually replaced the tool. Another helpful detail, as long as the tool is flagged as broken, if you try to start another program that uses that tool, you'll get this warning alerting you to check and replace the tool. As we saw a minute ago, the system can reliably sense around a 20% variation in length and the system will alarm out if the tool is either too short or too long. So this should reflect either a broken tool or a tool that is pulling out of its holder. Just remember that the system alerts you after the tool breaks, after the operation is complete. If you have a tool where you're really worried about both wear and breakage, then you should still probe that tool before you start the operation. In the meantime, Broken tool detection gives you additional protection, especially during a long program cycle. Because even if you probe the tool before starting, if the tool breaks mid-cycle, you want to know, so you don't continue machining the part. A question we get asked is, can I switch to a backup tool on the ATM page for the tool that just broke? And the answer is no. And this is the reasoning. A broken tool is different than a worn tool. If the wear limit has been set appropriately for a tool and that limit is reached, the features that tool just finished should all be good. Whereas a broken tool has probably either cut the features badly or not at all. Therefore, the part and tool need to be inspected before further work can continue. So that's how the broken tool alarm works. But if you're on a machine like this UMC with a robotic pallet loader, then there is another option if a broken tool is found. For a pallet pool machine, instead of alarming out, we have the option of loading the next pallet on the pallet schedule table. This allows us to keep running parts while isolating the part and tool that had the problem. And that's it. If you're looking for additional peace of mind on automated and long run jobs, 
Then check out the broken tool detection option at HaasCNC.com. Thanks for watching.